Thanks to Ameribraid for sponsoring this video. Today, guys, we're going to forge a knife from 5200 steel round bar, make a handle with parts from this dog, then put a special edge on the blade before showing it off. But first, I want to tell you about Ameribraid's 2x72 fast back grinder. I've been using it for several months now, and I absolutely love it. You can check the description for a full review link. It is an absolute beast. It's priced better than its competitors. These grinders are extremely powerful. Made in the USA, feature packed. Let me show you the pros from that video. Chassis comes assembled and powder coated out of the box. It's a big deal to me. State of the art. K back a variable speed drive with forward and reverse that is pre wired. Another big deal to me. Simple, smooth, horizontal tilting. The main reason I purchased this grinder. Easy to dial in tracking with large ergonomic wheel grips. Space saving mobile pedestal with casters. Rubber contact wheel on the platen for grinding on the fly. Love it. Huge indexing work rest. A nice selection of accessories. Small wheel attachment. Contact wheel surface grinders are available. The bottom line is I can't imagine having a nicer grinder for a better price. These come simple. You can get them fancy. If you guys are in the market for a new grinder, follow the link in the description now. Check out Ameribraid. Back to our project. This is Sadie, a half Pyrenees, half German Shepherd Sweetie who sheds like a maniac. We got hair here. We got hair there. Everywhere Sadie go, hair go to. She's a bit skittish, but let's corral her and see if we can gather some materials for our dog care knife handle. That's right, we're making a dog care micarta. Sadie's not very big on brushes, but this stuff is coming off by the fistful. And next we're going to have to clean it for obvious reasons, and then we'll have to remove any black hairs from the evil one over here. Sadie rolls in the grass after a bath, so we're shampooing the fur off the dog. I mean, no one wants a stinky knife handle, am I right? If you're wondering if this could be grosser, it could not be grosser. Got to get dried in that oven 200 degrees for about four hours. Now there are two options for making our micarta. First is the pressure pot with this mold, or we can build a disposable form and apply clamps to squish everything together like you would typically do for a layered micarta. Let's try a mold. Here I fabricated a professional quality form. Uh, covered the sides with wax paper. There are holes uh, and loose fits strategically placed to allow our excess resin to escape. Our dog hair is dry. Let's get cracking. The work time for this particular resin is rather short. It's only about 12 minutes, which is why I have a stopwatch in the background. This is going to cure for about a day and then we'll demold it by basically cutting everything apart. As you can tell, it's been compacted down too thin to use as a knife handle, but overall this is a success. This is really hard, it's tough, it looks interesting, and best of all, it doesn't stink. So now we just need a lot more fur. But first, I think we should forge a knife.
I've scribed the center line here. I showed how to do this in a diagram in a previous video. Here's how it works in real life. You find the middle of the bolster area and the middle of the tip of the knife. Then you make sure they're at the same height using feeler gauges on one end and then scribe a line between them with this height gauge. We're painting in some texture here on the spine and bolsters. Fifty two one hundred can be difficult to heat treat, so I'm going to thermal cycle this at 1700 degrees, then 1600 degrees, then 1500 degrees, and then we'll quench from 1500 degrees in a commercial slow oil. Tempering is going to be at 350 degrees, 375 degrees, and then 390 degrees. Now oftentimes when hand sanding, one uncovers divots that require light grinding on the belt sander to get them out. In this case, I was done grinding out the divot and I was moving the knife away from the grinder rather carelessly and it got caught on the edge of the belt, which whipped it into the concrete. So I uh, made a shorter knife. While I'm thinking about it, let's temper down the spine. All right, let's take another run at a handle. This time we're gonna to have to gather some more hair, really a lot more hair. And you can see how much I gathered right here in this sack that's right behind this larger sack. Now it's onto our new form. We can make sure we have enough fur this time, not only by gathering more, but by building a form to a shape that's closer to the final shape of our knife. As you can see here, the construction on that didn't go all that well. One thing that might help is that our epoxy has a 40 minute work time this time around and demolds at 24 to 48 hours. So I have plenty of time to both press it with the clamps and wrangle it into a pressure pot to help get the bubbles out. I didn't really show you guys on the first block, but there are these tiny little bubbles around some of the hairs. Well, carpentry skills aside, this actually worked. Looks like we have plenty of material to use. Just like the last handle I made, I don't want any pins or fasteners interrupting my micarta masterpiece. So I'll put some notches in the tang hole and on the tang to maximize retention using epoxy only. For anyone interested, this is G-Flex epoxy.
Even after sanding to a thousand grit and buffing it here on the wheel, there's still two or three rough sort of furry feeling spots. Maybe they didn't saturate well enough with epoxy or something. I'm not sure, but I'm going to coat it either with true oil or clear coat epoxy for a nicer feel and look. The true oil adds some richness, but it makes my dog look like a golden lab. So I've settled on this UV resin from Alumalite that cures under a UV light. I don't know how durable this is. I've never really used it on a knife handle before. Should be a good experiment. Only sharpen this to 400 grit. I think you know why. Pause the video and put your answers in the comment section now. <laughs> to give it a nice toothy edge. <laughs> the dog care micarta sanded well and it was pretty tough feeling stuff. Very interesting look. What'd you guys think? <laughs>